peace, quick little thing fast. The things that you are sensitive to, you know, matter of fact, as a quote unquote empath, points to your soul purpose. You know, I just caught this download about, you know, uh, almost like asking my higher self, you know, like, you know, I know I'm sensitive to energy, but why I'm so less sensitive to like stuff like cell phones and electronics. And basically I caught the answer right quick. It was like, because your sole purpose is to deliver messages and, and be in those areas, you know, where these things exist. So, you know, you got a certain tough skin towards that because that has to do with your soul, your soul purpose. Just like, and say for instance, like not being sensitive to cell phones and like the electronics because my sole purpose is delivering messages through these electronics or being, going through certain places and speaking and dealing with things that, you know, why if I was super sensitive to that, I wouldn't be able to operate for my sole purpose. And, and on the flip side, I'm sensitive to crystals. Unlike some people, you know, some people may not be as sensitive to crystals as I am because that's a part of my sole purpose. I'm dealing with crystals and sharing information on crystals on crystals. So that's why I'm sensitive to crystals, uh, but not super sensitive to electronics because I'm, using that connection with the crystals and sharing it through the uh you know through the electronics now at the end of the day because this is something that's constantly being addressed too on a download download vibe you know it's a chess game we only dealing with a lot of these things just because of the chess game of what what things at right now but all life is about is being blissful you know uh dealing with pleasure and, and not having to worry about anything, like, you know what I'm saying? Not not trying to, like, you know, all this shit, like, again, not saying stick your head in the sand, but, you know, the our vibration, what we in is what creates this realm, and especially for the feminine aspect. So, you know, we want to be in a pleasurable state. We want to be focused on, you know, uh, things that keep us in balance and not constantly trying to find out, like, you know, like, oh, they're doing chemtrails, all oh, this 5G, this and that. Again, it isn't, you know, it, it has importance for uh, at least some of us to be aware of it. But, you know, uh, a lot of people help this realm by not paying attention to that shit. Just like how I always speak about, like, hey, you know, we all got a different soul purpose. Like, as much as somebody want to say a monk that, that meditates all day is not doing nothing, that's not true. That, 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 that that monk or whoever is holding a space and, and doing things on the astral planes that's affecting things in this realm, you know, which could be just as effective as trying, or, you know, more effective in some cases than actually, like, again, that's the reason why they allow for Martin Luther King or certain people to have picket signs and do all these things, because that's not really the strong and true essence of the work, you know, on a spiritual level, dealing with this physical plane, you know, but, uh, Again, your sole purpose will be pointed out due to your sensitivity, like some people. And, I, and check out my video about the different types of empaths. I can't remember all the different types, but say, for instance, you got somebody who's sensitive to other people's injuries on a high level, where just, you know, walking past somebody with a broke leg, they feel it just as much as the person with the broke leg. And say, for instance, you know, that mean that your sole purpose to, you know, uh, help people heal or, you know, deal with people who, go through physical pains, you know what I'm saying? You might uh, be somebody that should be a Reiki worker or something of that nature that helps heal people from physical pain. Uh, if you're sensitive to what the animals are speaking to, then it's your sole purpose to work with animals, you know what I'm saying? But again, your sensitivity on an energetic level will give you some idea of your sole purpose and what you came down here to deal with in this lifetime. But again, uh, know uh more respect being given more reverence and respect given to the divine feminine energy uh you know that masculine that over masculine energy because some of us you know like again you know we all growing and sometimes you know what we think we we have graduated from certain energies but like it's still got like a little sneaky dormant energy that's within us you know that needs to be transmuted because i think about it definitely for for the males you know where we come up in a society that that tells us that we should rule over women or tell them what to do and that's you know <laughs> gotta wash that out of your subconscious very quickly <laughs> you know uh again it's a balance yes but again you know 
as above, so below, as within, so without. You know, from darkness, let there be light. From the triple darkness, meaning from the three trimesters, or the primordial mother, you know, let there be light. Uh, Lucifer, you know, or the masculine energy. You know, so, so always be aware of that. The metaphysics of it is there as well, you know. All males come, all babies come out with nipples, whether male or female, because the embryo starts off as a female first. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? Just again, showing you how the universe works, you know, without you having to even go read a book or anything. You're just observing of, of how life is, you know, within you and around you, you know. But again, your sensitivity points to your soul purpose, you know, uh, trying to think of other little aspects, and again, I forgot all the different types of impacts, but that, that's basically it, you know, just peep out, you know, what you're sensitive to, and that may speak to what area, you know, that you should be dealing with, you know, because again, me not being sensitive to cell phones and electronics, and I see other people, and I know, again, like, I'm like, you know, there's something wrong, and, and instantly when I just ask that, because two, I'm seeing how much more clear, you know, like whenever you're not too clear, you don't like say for instance, the more clear you are like, uh, you know, from meditating and clearing all that thoughts and stuff like that, you know, literally again, every, when you ask a question, your higher self will answer it. All you got to do is just ask in essence, you know, uh, and be clear enough to receive, you know, the, uh, the message with clarity. But you know, I just had that vibe and it was like, this is why, you know what I'm saying? Because think about it. Like, you know, I'm great at articulating myself and, and, and sharing information. So, you know, what good I would be in my sole purpose if I was sensitive to, you know, the electronics and sensitive to the machines that I would be delivering my messages on, you know what I'm saying? And I would, you know, that's like, uh, I don't know, like coming down to be a boxer as my sole purpose, but uh, you know, not wanting to being scared of getting hit or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it has, it, it's gonna be in alignment. You know, but that's basically it. I ain't gonna make this a long, drawn-out video. It's a think fast. You know, go check out my videos on uh, you know, if you just search Universal Frequencies Impacts, it should pop up. Uh, and it'll be uh, again the different types of impacts speaking on that, but you know that's basically it. Peace, peace. Happy now. Now's the vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past.